Hi, I'm Katrina LaBelle Barr, and today I'm going to talk to you about how there's four different types of people that go to church. In Luke chapter 8, Jesus talks about four different types of people that hear the word, and I'm going to expand it to four different types of people that go to church. Um, a lot of times we hear people give their own opinions about what, how church people, how Christians act in general. Some people say, oh, they're hypocrites. I don't even bother going to church because they all fake anyways and blah, 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 blah. There's people that fall and, 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 and a lot of times people get discouraged because they were looking up to someone that they thought was walking the path and doing the right thing and then they fell in the sin and just crumbled their whole entire world. So I'm going to bring a little bit of clarity to that. Okay. In Luke chapter 8 and verse 12, Jesus talks about, starts talking about four different types of people. In the beginning of the chapter, he talked about the parable of the sower, and this is him breaking it down. There's, there's group A. Group A is the type of people that hear the word, who go to church, but they don't believe. They're not a believer. They don't receive what they don't believe in. They're not getting delivered. So they're just going to church to just go. Sometimes they go because their loved ones just have them coming or, or there's a special function or maybe they just feel that they're supposed to because it's tradition or religion or, 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 or whatever. They just feel it's a part of them. So they just go. But they hear the word. They hear the things that the preacher is preaching. They see the things that are in the Bible or whatever else, but they just don't take it to heart. They don't believe it. They don't receive it. So they're probably not going to act on what the word tells them to do. So that's group A. Um, group B, Jesus talked about how these people, they hear the word, they get the joy, and they get all that goodness and all that positivity that the word brings to them. And, and you know, they're probably those ones that just shouting and believing and praising God and just boastful with the, with the love of Jesus and how great, awesome God is. And, and maybe have all the scriptures printed all over their desk and everything else. But the thing about this group of people is that they're not rooted in the word. They have no foundation. You know, they get the, the joy from the word, but they're not, they don't have the root of it. They don't have the thing that's anchoring them in the word. David said, his word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. And they probably don't have that in them because they're not rooted in the word. It's easy for them to fall into temptation. And so even though they might be joyful and everything else, and, and, and it, it appears and seems like they got it together, you know, they're not as strong as, as they maybe want to be. And so when they fall into temptation, there might be somebody else who might have been looking up to that person and thought they had it together and might get discouraged because they failed. The word teaches that you're not supposed to put all your, you're not supposed to put your trust in men. You're supposed to put your trust in God. You know, sometimes people fall. People, people are people. You know, it's easy to give into temptation. If temptation wasn't easy, there wouldn't be a temptation. And so that's what these people uh, end up doing. Okay, the third group of people, these are the people that have heard the word, but once they go forward, they get choked with the cares and the fears and the riches of life. They get caught up in life, and that's something that a lot of people end up doing. You know, you have your mindset on one thing or doing the right thing, but you get caught up in promotions, you get caught up in jobs, you get caught up in drama, you get caught up in woes and worries of life. These are things that happen. They meant to do what the word tells them to do, but they just get caught up and they fall into, you know, to life that just takes over how he said just chokes them like chokes the word out of them and so you have those people and then you have the fourth group in the 15th verse that hears the word and actually applies it to their life these are the people that walk the walk and talk the talk that you can depend on to always do the right thing and follow the word of god now now i'm not saying that i have never been that i've always been in group number four because that's not true and you're not really going to find anybody that has always been in group number four and to be honest people who are in group number four can end up acting like group number two or group number three or people in group number one can end up acting like people in group number four but these are just different types of people that hear the word of god now that being said um, if you notice, there's only one out of the four groups of people that actually take the word and apply it to life and are actually fruitful in their works. They walk the walk and they talk the talk and they're not fake Christians. The, the fake Christians that you hear people talk about all the time, they're not that group, but they're only one out of the four groups. That means the majority of the people that go to church in this country and all over the world are not a part of the fourth group. Now there might be some churches that are absolutely just hitting it hard and, and are mostly a part in that fourth group. Of majority of the people that hear the word 
are not going to walk the walk. They're not going to talk the talk. That's only one out of four that's actually going to do that. So majority of the people that hear the word are not going to live according to the word of God. So that's why majority of the time when you go into a church, you're going to find a whole lot of people that's not living right because a lot of people are not in that fourth group. I'm not in that one group. Now, if you go to a church where there ain't nobody in the fourth group and even the spiritual head ain't in the fourth group, then possibly you need to go to another church. <laughs> but that's not saying that these people aren't out there. That's not saying that these churches aren't out there. That's not saying that these ministers, these pastors that are, are out there, that's actually walking the walk and talking the talk. Yes, there are people who are in leadership that I feel sometimes shouldn't have been in leadership in the first place. But, you know, you're going to have wolves in cheap clothing. You're going to have people that are in group one that are going to pretend to act like people in group four. You're going to have people in group two that are confused with their relationship with God. And, and they think they're people, they act like group people in group four, but, they're, but really they're not. But that's the type of, the different types of people that hear the word of God. So my message to you is, to, is for you to not put your trust in man. Don't put all your hopes, all your, your dreams in this one individual in the church that, you're, that if they don't make it, then you can't make it. You need to concentrate on your own relationship with God. Don't look to, Mr. S to brother so-and-so. Don't look to sister and so-and-so. You get your relationship right with God. When judgment day comes, brother so-and-so and, -so and sister so-and-so is not going to be there and you can't say well I failed because I was looking up to them and they failed no you concentrate on your own self because mr. So brother so-and-so could be in group one one day and group four the next group two the next so you got to concentrate on your own walk with God and that's my monologue for today if you have any questions, then go ahead and go to katrinalabellabar.com. And I will also have an added note, more details going into about what I talked about today. Uh, thank you and tune in next week for my next monologue.